Are you ready to get back on the road with your RV? Has that RV been sitting in storage all winter? Well, today I'm going to show you how to de-winterize your camper so you can get back on the road. Let's get started. Dewinterizing your RV can seem like a daunting task, but it doesn't have to be. If you just follow these simple steps, the first thing you're going to need to do is to find your hot water heater. Unbypass the hot water heater. See, when the RV was winterized, the hot water heater was bypassed so that no antifreeze could flow into the hot water heater. You want to turn the valves so that the valves go with the flow of the pipe. This will allow water to pass into your hot water heater. Now I'm doing this dewinterization on my camper, which is a Heartland Mallard M26. Most of the steps that you'll hear today can be used for any RV. Hey, before we get to the next step, do me a favor, click on the subscribe button, hit the like button and turn on notifications if you're getting any value out of this video. Now the next thing you're gonna wanna do is to put your sanitizing solution directly into your fresh water tank. Take this stuff and you put it right in your fresh water tank. You're gonna use a funnel and you're gonna pour the solution right into the tank and then fill the tank with fresh water. Now I use a store-bought solution and you can find a link to the solution that I use in the description below. There's a, there's a little measurements on the back so you can figure out exactly how much you need. All right, now the next step is I'm going to turn on the water pump to prime the system. Now the water pump should turn off by itself. If it doesn't turn off by itself, you may have a leak somewhere. That means it's continuously pumping and not pressurized. So you're gonna turn on the water pump and hopefully it shuts off by itself. Now that your fresh water tank is full, you've primed your plumbing system by turning the pump on. You're gonna to wanna to drain the pink antifreeze that was put in back when the camper was winterized out of your faucets. You're gonna go around to all of the faucets in your camper and drain the pink antifreeze. So you're gonna do it in the kitchen sink, the bathroom sink, the tub, if you have an outdoor sink, the toilet, you wanna do that as well. And also any shower hookups or any hose systems that you may have outside. You wanna drain all of the antifreeze out of the entire camper. Now that the antifreeze is out of your plumbing system, your plumbing system is now filled with the sanitizing solution. So what you need to do now is have a little patience. You're gonna to have to let that sit for about three to six hours. Again, read the label to see. It also recommends that if you can drive the camper around at this point to have it slosh around in your plumbing, that would be a good idea. I know that's not always possible. I mean, sometimes I rock the camper to slosh it around, but if you just let it sit, it's actually sanitizing your system. Okay, so now uh, the solution has been sitting in the camper for about four hours. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drain the fresh water tank and we're gonna drain the hot water heater. So we're gonna get flush all that stuff out of the system and then we're gonna refill it again. Now I let the fresh water tank drain out and I'm gonna repeat this process again two times. So I'm gonna fill up the fresh water tank, then I'm gonna let it sit for maybe, this time only maybe like a half hour. Then I'm gonna drain it again, drain the fresh water tank and uh, drain the hot water heater. I'm gonna do that two more times just to give it a really good cleaning. So now the next step is going to be to turn on the city water and flush the system with the city water. Now I'm in a campground, so I'm hooked up to sewer. So it's super convenient uh, because I just open up the gray tank and everything that's running through the camper is actually just leaving the camper and going right through the sewer connection. Already hooked up my city water connection right here. Okay, I have my filter on it right here which is one of my essentials, which if you haven't seen that video, you should check that video out right here. And here we go, this is actually the last step. So we are almost done. Almost done here. Let's turn on this light. Almost done. All right, now I'm just back here checking out the hot water tank as I've turned on the hot water tank. And I just wanna make sure that we don't have any leaks anywhere. You can hear that it's on. So I hear that it's on. Everything over here looks good. Dewinterizing your RV isn't as hard as you think it is. Here's a couple of more RV tips in case you're out of the road. 